so I can turn this into this and basically sell Bitcoin here 21,000 buy Bitcoin here 16,300 sell Bitcoin here 18,200 and become effing rich what's going on this is it finance after 40 we're going over chat GPT this is freaking wild I love this thing we are doing another indicator the Z score standard deviation I just am so excited chat GPT and how to make money with crypto using chat GPT this is my focus as of last week this thing is insane it prints money as long as you work it okay so let's see what we got let's change this to the one hour let's change the settings uh, because it's one hour it's 168 yeah okay that's good and let's uh, see what we got okay so basically I ask for this score this score if you guys don't know what it means uh, basically it's standard deviations uh, meaning that uh, Bitcoin should trade at a certain level and every time there's a spike over uh, one standard deviation two standard deviation over 68 percent up or down from the average where it needs to trade roughly go read about it in investopedia or something then it should go back to uh to the norm to the mean okay should go back to the same one standard deviation that it was uh before or zero at the end of the day it needs to go back to zero standard deviation we are now at uh, 1.2 negative my 1.2 so basically i ask him you know what i want to trade only i want you to give me a buy signal or a sell signal only when the standard deviation for bitcoin but he said uh, that you can do any uh instrument uh, stocks forex crypto etc uh basically every time the standard deviation goes above free or goes below negative free give me a signal so i can just uh, leverage trade and lose my life savings basically and if you like that yeah you know what to do so basically he did this let's be serious this this is wild. this is super wild uh i, I i'm excited this chat gpt knows to do uh, how to do everything uh this script calculates and plots the z score of two financial instrument and plots red and green circles at the chart uh, when the z-score of one instrument goes above free deviation and the z-score of the other uh, goes below free now that's not really true i've tried that for the last i don't know like three hours to do two uh bitcoin and ethereum on the same chart it didn't really work so i basically went to uh, all those you can read all about it uh, but eventually I settled at least for now uh, just uh, at least for now I settled on one instrument with minus three plus three the ideal goal ideal goal is to do uh, you see how much uh, we read uh, <laughs> uh, he wrote a lot that's crazy the, the goal is basically to have two uh, items Bitcoin Ethereum whatever Chainlink Uniswap Solana Cardano two uh, versus uh, one versus another like microsoft apple this is how the big players are trading uh but with big money in the stock market with big money uh people put i don't know six seven figures on one coin on one stock six seven figure on the other stock when there's a balance of uh, like negative three or negative two and a half depends on their algo and model and all that stuff and basically they just uh, buy one and sell the other and once it reaches a certain level almost zero like uh, half a percent or something they close the trade that's it that's how the the big guys are trading uh so i want to do the same thing for crypto i think this is very very under uh the under uh how do i call it underexplored underexplored territory and um, I, I i maybe saw like two people talking about that but this is how the the people the professional people are trading in the stock market anyway let's see how it works so basically just so you know a lot of you ask me in the comment uh, below 
uh, in the other videos that I started a few days ago. How do I even enter this uh, trade? Not the trade, enter the code. So I just put the code in here. I'll put it in the description below. I'll make sure I'm recording, which I am. How do you do it? You go here, okay? First of all, you need trading view account. If you don't have a trading view account, link will be in the description below. Once you find the trade, there's also a link in the description for GMX with 10% of trading fees, just an FYI, and I am an affiliate for both. So I do get a small commission if you trade or you buy trading view or whatever. But either way, go to trading view, uh, open a chart, uh, Bitcoin, for example. Let's just make sure that this is big so you guys can see. And I will do another video because I'm excited. Uh, I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, put the, just uh, click the plus, put Bitcoin or start with Bitcoin, see whatever that you want. Go here. Okay. Uh, first of all, go to Pine Editor in the bottom. Pick uh, Pine Editor, uh, pick uh, Maximize Panel, and this code will be in the description below. This is the current code, so let's read about this. is just one instead of two instruments, two assets, just one. So this script uh, calculates and plots the Z-score of a financial instrument and plots red and green circles on the chart when the z-score is a measure of how many uh, standard deviation a data point is from the mean all about numbers statistics and stuff don't just uh, go to twitter and say hey bitcoin is gonna go up okay do a little uh, more uh, math but this is like advanced level uh, super advanced but still i see green i buy i see red i sell that's what it tells you to do Input, the length is, uh, the default is 100. I change it for the hourly, I change to 168, okay? Uh, just be, just go seven days uh, back, times 24 hours, it's 168. You can change uh, the daily, uh, if you do the daily chart, like the no nonsense for it's changed to 14. If you do five minutes or 15, well, God bless you. I don't know how to calculate that. Ah, uh, length, okay, calculation, rolling and standard deviation, mean, uh, simple moving average, standard deviation in the closed, okay, calculate the z-score, etc, etc, and then it gives you the colors, uh, the default color is blue, I change it to orange, and then you see here, up plot red and green circles when the z-score goes above or below free standard deviation. Up error will give us uh, over free, down error will give us uh, negative free. Uh, basically, and then uh, shape of a circle, study this, this score indicator, add a call to the study function. Okay, and once you've done that, just click add to chart, and, uh, and then basically it will be at the bottom. Okay, it will be at the bottom, and you just drag it, uh, you can leave it at the bottom, I just dragged it and put it on, on the chart because at the end of the day, I don't know, it looks nicer. So let's see what we got. Uh, we are on the one hour chart. I'm doing this live with you. We'll go back to those. But I want to show you how cool it is. Let's go, I don't know, a few days back. Okay, what day we are. It's more than seven days. It goes a lot longer. But you see, it doesn't give you a lot of trades. Okay, it didn't catch the, the jump, but uh, let's start with here, November, okay? That's a good, uh, like, uh, size sample. November 30, so about uh, two weeks ago, two, two and a half weeks ago, we got a short, okay? All this giant box is basically to sell Bitcoin. You see the price on the right around, let's call it 17, uh, 150, give or take, okay? So it gives you a short signal anywhere between 17,051, uh, to 17,000, let's call it 17,100. Why? Because if you look here on the left, basically all it did, if you pass the number three, it's too much. You see, it's too much, you gotta, you gotta sell. Bitcoin needs to go back, the standard deviation needs to go back to the mean. I hope I explained this correctly. This is also super excited to me. I am still learning about all those indicators. Uh, feel free to ask below questions. So you're short here and you caught a nice uh, wave down to 16.8. I don't know if you closed or not, but again, same thing. You went back to the same level to 17.2. We are around three 
uh, over three, it's automatically the computer generates cell, cell signal above three. Uh, on the Z score, so you go, so you sell again at 17.2, and this is the beginning of December, and now uh, you back at 17.4, okay, unless you closed here at 16.8, it didn't move too much, and you're still short, there's nothing here that indicates to go long, you see here, this was like 16.6, uh, you see here, negative 2.22, so you don't get a buy signal, I try to limit it to negative 3 and plus 3, so it will be less signals, less noise, and more accurate, basically. So this is not ideal for the degenerate gambler, even though you guys make a lot of uh, trading volume on GMX. I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, only above 3 and negative 3 will uh, generate a signal. It's not 100%, of course not. You can lose everything, leverage trading, all that stuff, not a financial advice, just be aware of what you're getting into so we could have missed this uh, job but that's okay you don't have to win them all and eventually a few days ago okay december 13 14 we got this giant uh red at 18 uh, 2 look at this 4 4 30 this is insane 4 30 is insane you got yourself a sell signal at 18,200. okay and you caught a little down to 17.8 and then it went up again to the same price 18.2 the standard deviation is almost four and a half that's like 99 98 percent uh above the 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 average where bitcoin should trade compared to the last 168 hours basically that that's what it means and then after the last 168 hours this is like a like extra 98 percent where it should not trade it, it, it that's hard to explain but uh yeah so you got another uh, red and you could be a simple person say hey i got red i go short i got red you go short and then you caught the short at 18.2 all the way down to here we're still short we haven't got one uh long we will get long if we will go here uh to uh below three okay below negative three and I can do the same thing for uh, Ethereum. This is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, let's just check Ethereum real quick. Okay. And uh, interesting. Let's see. Ethereum, we got along. Wow. We got along here at 11.80. Wow. Just uh, on Friday. Interesting. This is very interesting. 11.80, you go long eat. Wow. Why? Uh, because we probably yeah because we touched here you see this this was negative 314 1156 it didn't give us the signal at 1156 it gave up the, it gave us the signal at 1180 interesting so i think it just calculate the session total or the session open or close uh, the session close according to the script this is wild session close okay uh so instead of uh you don't need the top bottom of the bottom but look at this we are long eat this is crazy 1170 something like that we are now at 1188 was the yeah go long eat this is crazy and you got the short in here three and a half three forty you see three forty three thirty short eat at one thousand three hundred and thirty just a few days ago wow if I had this indicator a few days ago, I would make a killing with GMX. Wow, this is wow. Uh, unbelievable. Let's see what else we got for EAT. Nothing so, and look at this. We got the long, when was this? This was December 7th. See, it doesn't generate a lot of signals because free standard deviation is insane. So here was the free, three point negative three, three, four. 1218 and then at 1225 uh go long go long all the way and uh we went to 1300 you could have closed the trade in here or anywhere in between up to you short in here let's see wow that's free out of free this is wild and uh nothing here we got two big short signals look at this over three percent in here uh, November 29, okay, 1290, 
short 1294 short and you could have caught all this great move all the way from uh, 1290 to 1225 long from 1225 all the way to 1330 short from 1330 and we are long now at 1180 wow 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 subscribe everyone i will leave the link to this indicator below i'll see you guys next time this is insane